Hi everyone, it's a lovely spring evening here in the Pacific Northwest. And I'm hanging out with Toby, our brand new puppy. He's a real sweetheart, he's such a good boy. And we're gonna be checking out the Insta360 Sphere. It's a new, brand new 360 camera specifically designed for the Mavic Air 2S from DJI, which is an awesome little drone. And with this thing on it, you can record footage without the drone and the drone disappears, turns invisible in the footage and it is gonna be super cool. I've actually, this, this camera is actually quite a bit similar to uh, uh, several of Insta360's previous uh, 360 cameras, such as the one I've used with the uh, Insta360 One RS, which is an excellent little camera, and this prompt should deliver similar results, only from a really cool aerial perspective. So, first we're gonna get out this handy little landing pad that Insta360 kindly, kindly sent out. This seems to be pretty high quality, a nice little bag. Got the H on one side and a Insta360 logo on the other. And we're gonna go with the black logo, I think, because it'll show off the stuff a little bit better. I'm a little bit of a hill here, which maybe not isn't ideal, but we'll deal with it. Of course, we got instructions there. I'll probably need to read those. <laughs> and here we have the camera in there. Right here we have, looks like a cleaning cloth in there. Power cable. Oh, these look like camera lens protectors. We have the camera itself. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this bracket is gonna go all the way around the drone. One lens on top, one on the bottom, drone in between, and then in, in the uh, Insta360 software, it just merges the two images and the drone just disappears. It looks like we've got power and record there. You just hit record before you take off and you, there you go. Pops off like that. And like that. Yeah, it's a pretty simple mechanism. Very, looks pretty straightforward, and that's great. Let's show you here. Oh, goes together specifically like that. We'll take off one of these lens covers here. Peel back that. As you can see, yeah. Got great big uh, fisheye lenses there to capture. 360 degrees when you combine the two. Put that down like that. Bring out the Air 2S. I've been flying this drone for a full year now and it is definitely one of my favorites out there. Great image quality. It's a great drone to fly. Sorry if the peacocks are a bit noisy. It's spring, we've got like way too many of them. They just live here. Uh, <laughs> and are quite annoying in spring. Anyway, we've got the drone, we've got the camera. Look at this really fast, just before we do anything serious. So first we insert the battery, of course. I have this open. Put that open, Take the battery. Okay, so it took me a minute there, but I think I figured out how it actually goes on. I turned it around a couple times, and it actually goes so just like that, I think. This is my first time actually seeing the thing taking it out of the box, so uh, <laughs> there's a learning process here. It just snaps on like that. Nice! That's really nice, secure fit. I've got to say, that's... That looks great. And yeah, that looks to be just about it. Uh, I think it's ready for takeoff. And uh, I'm probably going to actually hand launch this, I think. I usually hand launch myself. Uh, it's probably not advisable from a safety perspective. You probably want to take off from a nice landing pad like this. And it's good that they include this because as you can see, the drone, the, sec the lower camera does rest on the ground 
when you place it down. So if you are gonna take off from the ground, you actually definitely want this launch pad. I'm not, I'll have to double check and make and see if it actually comes with the uh, landing pad. But uh, if, if, if not, this is definitely something you want to use with it if you're gonna take off from the ground. Me personally, I'm just gonna launch it from my hand. I mean, this is what I've done, been doing for years. Uh, it's, it works very well for me. And yeah, it's all assembled. So let's go take off and get some really cool footage of this. I, I can't wait to see how it turns out. And um, there will be a whole separate video that's just the, uh, a 360 video of, uh, where I've just uploaded the, the footage, a full flight captured with the drone. But for this video in particular, I'm going to edit it in the Insta360 app on my iPad mini 6 and uh, create some really cool cinematic shots using the 360 camera and the app. Oh, let's go. I've been testing the Insta360 Sphere for the last couple of weeks, and my overall impression is that this is an incredible little camera that offers some truly unique creative possibilities. However, with that said, it's not without its problems. Uh, there's a real issue with the GPS uh, interference from this camera to the drone when you're recording. When you're not recording, uh, there's, there's no problem. It doesn't interfere with the drone at all, with the GPS at all. But when you start recording, for some reason, uh, it interferes with the GPS signal, and at least in my experience, uh, it means that you're not going to be able to rely on return to home or be able to see where the drone is on the little map on your screen. Um, so just keep that in mind and fly a little bit more cautiously when you're flying with the sphere. Uh, however, it doesn't affect the performance of the drone uh, noticeably at all. Uh, you're still able, the connection with the controller is still very strong, and uh, you're still able to fly uh, very well. You're going to get a little bit of reduced uh, battery performance, of course, because it is you are adding uh, extra weight to the drone, but it still flies just fine. Now, the other issue I had was uh, with, okay, I'll preface this by saying that Insta360 had to overcome some pretty significant engineering challenges when designing a camera like this that clamps onto 
a drone and allows you to make the drone invisible. That is pretty incredible that they were able to achieve that. Uh, however, it means that they had to make some sacrifice in terms of design, one of which being that uh, the lower camera here protrudes down below the bottom of the drone so that if you uh, land on top of anything, uh, any sort of rough surface with this um, camera, uh, you're probably going to scratch it. For that reason, and because just generally that cameras on drones are prone to damage if you get in a crash, they included uh, uh, lens protectors, which is great. Uh, so you have that option of protecting your lenses. However, my first flight, uh, when I came in to land, I, um, uh, it skittered off the included, it actually like slid off the included landing pad and uh, the lens cover was scratched. Fortunately, it was a lens cover, so it was able to uh, remove it, but that was the, kind of the end of the lens cover. It wasn't repairable. You couldn't, uh, it did get scratched when that happened. Um, so, uh, Insta360 does recommend that you use the included landing pad, and I've got to say, it's great that they included the landing pad with it, uh, and just like it's great that they included the uh, lens protectors. Uh, those are both good things that you should use if you can. However, uh, I personally feel a lot better hand landing uh, the drone with this camera attached. It's not recommended by Insta360, but it's what I would personally choose. It's what I personally choose to do, uh, just because it prevents uh, a lot of the potential accidents that could happen uh, with this lower camera uh, hitting ground or anything. And uh, uh, you do risk getting some cuts from the propellers, though. I've got to say, it's. It, a hand landing is something that I always do, but which I can't actually really recommend that anybody else do because there are some hazards involved with it. Uh, but it's it's some it's uh, it's what I do anyway. With that said, with all that said, uh, this is the best way to capture 360 footage with a drone uh, that I know of. I can't, I can't think of any other system that does it this simply and this well. Uh, and just be aware that it has some issues. This is a very new device, it's a first generation device, so there are gonna be some kinks that early adopters are gonna have to deal with. Uh, and yeah, it is really cool. And if you've been looking for a, uh, a flawless um, uh, spherical, uh, uh, 360 drone platform where you don't have to have the drone in the video where the drone disappears. This is a really uh, in, a compelling option uh, if you're looking for that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out my full review over at Digital Trends. I'll have all the details about the camera. And yeah, I'll see you all again next time. Bye!